Well, it's the final lap now where we'll take a look at uh, some earnings of uh, listed companies now. Talking about uh, earnings, of course, let's look at UBA first and look at uh, uh, first quarter uh, 2023 and look at how much is, uh, is has changed so far from 2021 to 2023. Uh, I beg your pardon, 2022 to 2023 first quarter. If you look at... Uh, uh, they changed till about 47.5% from 183.9 to 271.1 billion uh, in the first quarter uh, this year. Look at the uh, profit after tax uh, up by 30.67% there. And look at earning per share and profit margin. Quickly, look at Weimar Bank as well. Uh, Weimar Bank has the gross earnings of uh, 132.3 billion from 93.63 in the fourth quarter of 2021 to fourth quarter of 2022. If you look at that uh, figure there with a change of 41.3%, uh, profit after tax move uh, from 8.93 billion to 11.35 billion in the fourth quarter of 2022. And then finally, uh, if you look at, uh, uh, yeah, I think that those are the two we need to look at uh, on the program today. So uh, let me start from you, Ambrose. Uh, give us your take. How impressive are these figures? Now, looking at the numbers, the you know, numbers you no know, only review the real potential. You say numbers company. don't lie. Yeah, to tell you exactly what is happening. And also, if you want to play the number, you can only have a chance to play the number once. The second time, the number will expose you. That means if you want to manipulate the number in any stock, you can only do it once if there is an opportunity. The second time, that's the number will make you probably know that you are doing up. Then, looking at the number from UBA and the um, but we we'll say this is a good number for these banks. And UBA will have seen their performance for 2022 impressive, starting on, the, on this uh, on this uh, strong note for, for the first quarter of the year. Despite, like we we'll say, that these numbers beat market expectation. Why? Because we expected that the kind of economic contraction we saw in the month of February and March, you know, will kind of affect the sector, uh, the economy. But companies result are you that there's activities that despite the cash mm. crunch, that means the online and they all really supported the banks. Nearly all the banks Q1 are looking good. You know, starting from this UBA, I tell you this is a fantastic number. Look at what that came from Access Bank first quarter, what that came from uh, GT Code, from um, you know, FCMB, for me, from the same uh, you know, rumor bank. For me, this is better than where they are going. Can look at all their top lines and bottom line are above inflation in the service sector. But for me, it's a good one for the market. That means that for investors, nowhere to print your tent now that we're just starting a new financial year ahead of what the incoming government policy that we're like to change. And that right. for me is a good one for the market. Okay. Let, let's have your take, uh, uh, Kasimo. Hello, are you there? Hello, Kasimo? I'm not sure if uh, uh, Kasimo can hear us. But okay, maybe we should quickly take a look at the final. Um, the final uh, uh, number here, the Nigerian Police Force Microfinance Bank, if you look at the gross earnings uh, rising to 38.3% there from 5.17 billion to 7.15 billion in the fourth quarter of 2022. And of course, in the financial year, look at the P, uh, uh, PAT, that's profit after tax, rising from 707.4 million to 882. 0.17 million and look at look at the change there with 24.7 percent earnings per share but uh looking at the earnings per share uh jump from uh a decline rather from uh, 0.31 to 0.25 there and look at profit margin with about uh, dropping from 12.31 percent to 13.73 percent there uh dividend is attainable so, Ambrose, let's talk about this. For me, in our, in our verification, this number is still outstanding. Mm. Despite the decline in the uh, in earning per share, because this company uh, kind of increased their shareholding with their right issue and bonus they give. That's why we are seeing that there's a decline in earning per share, despite we are seeing growth in the top and the bottom line of the of the bank. And don't forget that I said that these you know, um, financial institutions or service providers right. are the ones posting you no know, impressive number and which... Uh, no, police market finance is one of them. This number for me is outstanding, even when with a large share in issue, still having uh, to pay the tech couple they paid the previous year, even when also have a decline of their earnings from uh, almost from uh, th uh, 31 couple to around uh, 15 or 15 or 15 couple, then they are paying uh, the tech couple. For me, it's a good one, but I want to see how their first quarter will look like to start. But I believe that the financial, because of the high interest rate, 
per se in the you know in the in the economy from the monetary policy it's also you know helping the the financial institutions the banks you know to make him money because i tell you go and check all their interest income they are all moving with 50 percent 20 percent 40 percent tell you that that you know interest move from 11.55 to almost 18 you know understand for may 2022 to you know mm -hmm. for me that is a good place for them to make money and it's also reflecting on this number for me it's a weapon development you can see what uh Uma bank did Uma bank also uh, grew their dividend from 24 kubo to 30 kubo on a good earnings for a full year and their q1 that came yesterday or this morning mm -hmm. also stand out in the market for me it was seen that this bank tell us our banks are solid not in a mature economy where they're having banking uh, their uh, uh, financial sector or banking sector have an issue but here i think that our bank have become solid numbers mm -hmm. are coming to where they're going also we believe that the CBM you know, put in the right position in terms of this service because also rates also are threatening the bank because I tell you if the banks are not lending, you no, know, they go to invest in fixed income um, market like Treasury B. But I believe that we need to bring the interest rate so that we can't just suffer the economy for other sectors like banks to gain. We need to carry the economy mm. and the banks you know, together so that we can uh, have an interesting uh, the next MPC meeting uh, it's uh, about three weeks away from here yeah, in May. May. Uh, and so we should be expecting that. But let me get a final thought from uh, Mr. Akrofi, uh, who is uh, virtually with us. Uh, thank you uh, for uh, your time. So uh, talk to us about these uh, earnings. Are you there? Hello, Mr. Akrofi. Well, I, I guess uh, we perhaps <laughs> finally lost him there, but <laughs> a good way. What a way to end the program. Uh, however, thank you so much for your time, uh, Kofi. Uh, beg your pardon now, Kasimo Garaba Kofi is CEO APT Securities and Mucho Funds Limited. Thank you for your time uh, in Assemblea, uh, at least. Okay, so uh, Ambrose, any parting shot before we wrap it up? Now? Yeah, I say investors should look at these key numbers. It's, mm. a, it's a kind of a, no, it's a stepping stone for new decision. Now we have this number, there was fear already okay. that we expect to see a poor performance because of the economy. Okay. We're not saying opposite of it. That means the economy, the market is heading somewhere. Okay. Take advantage of that surprise and invest wisely. And invest wisely. And of course, on that note, we say thank you. Uh, that's our show this Friday.